Okay, so we welcome you all to NHIS TV. I'm joined here by Dr. Bernard Okoboy, the new CEO of the NHI. Welcome, Doctor. Thanks, my dear. How are you? I'm very well. And you? By his grace, I'm fine. Okay, so you've been announced as the new CEO taking over from Dr. Selby. Would you like to tell us about yourself? Yeah, thank you very much. So I am a, a physician uh, and also a public health practitioner. Um, I'm also um, a community activist. And some will call it a politician, as in I do community work. And um, I was formerly the member of parliament for the legal constituency. I've also done some work in um, uh, management and business and administration. And um, I also have done some studies in appropriate dispute resolution with the Gami and Gami Institute. But basically, I'm into health management, community medicine, and now I'm acting CEO of the National Health Insurance Authority. Quite impressive profile there. And I know it's been a couple of weeks since you took over, but it's been quite an experience. We've seen a couple of stories on the NHIS TV uh, social media platforms. But for you, how has the experience been? Well, so far, um, by the grace of God, the experience, the experience has been very um, warm, um, very exciting. I, I was fortunate to be put on the board of the authority by His Excellency President Nanandu Tanko Kufado. So I have uh, the privilege of learning about the organization. I also have some significant degree of camaraderie, uh, some rapport with the staff, and that has helped to fast track the integration. And uh, as I speak, I can say that so far I've enjoyed very good support and cooperation from the deputy chief executives, the management and the staff. And I am uh, in the early stages trying to build a coalition uh, that is to sell my ideas about what we can do together in this organization. And so far, the coalition formation has gone well. So I'm much interested in the ideas that you like to share or sell with us. So can you give us, you know, a few of them? Yeah, so in the next five to ten years, I want the National Health Insurance Authority to be the most visible public organization in Ghana. Not just visible, but also the most relevant entity in this country. And that will take some number of programs or initiatives. First of all, we will be 20 years as an authority. You know, the act that established National Health Insurance Scheme, the first one was Act 650, uh, 2003, uh, later amended to Act 852. And um, uh, would be 20 years since the time the authority was established, 20 years next year. So it will be two, D, two decades next year. And I've, I've, I've summarized my um, um, plans or ideas as in the five Ds at 2D. That's five uh, Ds at uh, 20, 20 years. The first D is digitization. I want this organization to go fully digital because it's been established both by theory and practice that when you digitize, you go smart. You know, the National Health Insurance spends about 80% of all their funds on claims payment. And yet, just about 40% of our claims are managed electronically. So I want to go um, 100% in the next 18 months. So that's to digitize fully. In, also, in our work processes, we want to explore how we can go smart instead of using paper. So we are thinking about e-memos instead of paper memos. The second D is dissemination. We want to disseminate information to the public. We want people to know more about us, for them to tell us their challenges so that as we work on them, the trust will build up. And the more you disseminate information, the more visible you become. So that's the second D. The third D is human development. And we want to develop the, the strength and skill set of our staff. When we spend energy and resources on our staff, the organization will benefit. So. It's both physical and human development. We want to build some important projects that we know to our benefit. The fourth B has to do with data. We want NHIA to be an already is an organization that has so much data, produces so much reports. We want to share these reports with stakeholders and the public. 
so that people will come to appreciate what is happening and people will start to understand the role we play better. So data is uh, very, very um, um, important. So I, I, I term that as, as the fourth, the fourth D. And then the, the fifth one uh, has to do with decentralization. So I want this organization to be decentralized. Um, you can see that it's, it's a little bit rigid when it comes to how we do our things. Things are centralized, you know. So um, when you, the studies have shown that when you allow staff and workers to have some level of autonomy and you, you expand their discretion, they get motivated. You know? And these are some of the theories uh, of motivation uh, or the theories that you learn when it comes to motivation, that you need to allow staff to operate. You don't need to tell them everything through codes or instructions. So um, I want this authority, uh, first of all, to have to be divided into about three belts, uh, just like they have the Northern Development Authority, Middle Belt, and Northern um, Coastal. We want to have a coastal belt, a middle, and, and, and Northern belt, so that those who head those regions can report to such people and all that. As we do these things, you wouldn't need approval from Accra before you can do simple uh, task. So the, these are the five Ds that we are looking at, and they fit into our strategic plan. So um, largely we'll be there, we'll get there. I, I'm very happy you mentioned dissemination because when your your name was mentioned or your appointments was announced, a lot of people were happy. Well, they greeted that with lots of excitement because they know the kind of job you do in the media space. And I know you also have a very vibrant corporate affairs directorate. How are you going to push the information to the people through uh, working with your with your staff? Well, thank you very much. Um, let me quickly say that uh, the best way to build a coalition or to sell an idea is to engage. You can't go around it. It's the best and surest way. So what we've had these uh, three days here is an engagement session. We call it a special session of the board, but essentially it's been an engagement session where we are talking to each other, we want to hear each other's views, each other's challenges, to work on them, to sell our ideas. It's been three days of just picking ideas and I call it a workout. It's not lifting weight, but this time brains are workout, you know. And this concept of workout is one of the initiatives I bring on board at the National Health Insurance. There will be a lot of workouts. And it's been established across the world that organizations that have a lot of workouts, as in sessions, talking, brainstorming, they always outperform their competitors. And we, we can't wait to outperform uh, all our competitors. Yeah. How has the retreat been? You did mention that it's a th it was a three-day uh, retreat. How would you sum it up? How was it for you? Well, it's been very revealing and very fruitful. Fruitful as in we've been able to um, identify and itemize the key challenges uh, that we have as an organization and the promises that lie ahead. We've also been able to identify the potentials we have and fully appreciate the skill sets that are in this organization. Once you know the skill sets and the potentials you have, it means that you are positioned for great things and that's what we'll be working on going forward. And uh, let me take this opportunity to thank the Corporate Affairs uh, um, Department or Directorate. Um, so far, been very wonderful in the organization, in the coverage and everything. Together, we shall deliver, we shall help people to access healthcare, which is our mandate. Together, we shall make sure that people are protected against financial risk. We don't want people to become poor because they fell ill. And we don't, we don't want people to fall ill and burden our funds. So we, one of the key things we do also is to invest in preventive medicine. For the first time, the National Health Insurance is considering and actually working on, we are almost there, we are piloting the, 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 the offering of um, family, uh, how do you call it, um, family planning services and preventive health as well. So this is an organization that is ready to run and we believe strongly that Ghanaians will run with us. So in your final words, what would you say to anyone who doesn't really believe or trust the National Health Insurance Scheme? What I would say is that health insurance in Ghana, the scheme with all its challenges, is better 
than being without an insurance. The national insurance scheme, with all the challenges we have, the Ghanaian who is insured with national insurance is better off than the one who is uninsured. So we promise to work on our challenges, but at the same time, it's important to remind Ghanaians that you first have to make sure you are on board the scheme as we also work towards dealing with the challenges. We know the challenges. We are committed to working on them. But in the meantime, you are way better off having an insurance cover than without it. Because when the time comes and you find yourself in that hospital, health insurance will be there to either totally take care of all your burdens in terms of financial burden or to mitigate the impact. Mitigation or all is better than none. Thank you. So should we expect a nationwide tour soon? Yes, we have to go around and know what is happening. That is going to happen soon. I thank you very much. Thank you very much.